Hey guys, <laughs> so you probably are wondering what the hell am I doing? So I'm actually doing this um, tutorial that I saw. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how the re end result is, which I'm nervous about. My hair is on the shorter side, so I don't know how curly it's gonna come out. <laughs> This is actually really good. I actually really like it. It actually looks like I curled it with a curling iron. It's actually not bad. I'm impressed. Anyway, on to trying to prepare for tomorrow, which is my first day of ED, my first day of actual residency because so far it's just been orientation and they've been super chill as compared to what is real residency so i'm really 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 nervous and i'm actually looking through the objectives right now so here are the goals and the objectives i've been literally procrastinating all day so let me get my shit together because this week cannot be a mess so I'm currently reading through uh, All I Meted's intern guide and I'm just kind of upset at myself for not eat, reading it. I was about to say eating it. I'm not hungry, but I'm thinking of food. I knew actually this was on my to-do list a while back and then of course I never got to it and now I'm upset because it has really good information, but hey. It's never too late. It gives such good tips, actually. Good morning, guys. So it is six, I think it's like 6.35 which is past my start time. I'm at my desk, I'm about to get started on some questions. Today is actually a rare moment where I'm gonna have a lot of time in the morning as compared to the rest of my weekdays are going to be because um, by the time I come the night before and sleep, I will be up much later uh, than 6.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna take advantage of today and do some questions. So I actually wrote out my goal for today. I'm gonna do 20 questions in a particular subject, do the notes on it, and that I'm gonna give myself two hours for. And then I'm gonna do two cases and review those notes, and I'm gonna give myself about two hours, but I'm gonna, I know for a fact I'm gonna have breaks in between. So then by the end of 10.30, I should be done with my 20 questions, my notes, and two cases. And then I'm gonna have lunch at 11 p.m. And then I leave at one, I'm gonna give myself an hour. So this is gonna be a different hospital, so I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna check it out during my break at some point um, to see the minutes it's gonna take me to get there. But I'm gonna give myself an hour to maybe grab coffee and uh, grab a snack and stuff like that and then get to the hospital like 15 20 minutes early so i'm going to be working from 2 p.m to 2 a.m so that's 12 hours and then i'm estimating that i'm going to get home by 3 a.m most likely by the time i change and everything and shower is going to be 3 30 um, and then i'm going to wake up around 10 30 that gives me about seven hours of sleep <sighs> all right so i'm going to get started i'll talk to you guys in a little bit Hey guys. Hey guys, so I am actually heading to the ER right now. I'm so nervous and I was really, really, really busy this morning. So I actually got a lot of studying done and then I got a call from my parents. My dad got tested for COVID and came out positive. So it's just, today has been a lot. Um, actually the past few weeks have been a lot and so I'm just trying to stay positive and um, you know, continue on and um, it'll all work out. And 
anyway I don't really want to talk about it just focusing on ER right now I'm so nervous um, I was nervous and now I just feel like I'm a little all over the place even more but you know what it'll be fine so I'm just putting in the address right now I wanted to be there like super early but it looks like that's not gonna be the case I'm gonna get there then turn right. I'm gonna get there in 23 minutes so let's go you guys my first day I am praying that it's smooth I don't think anything that has a learning experience is ever smooth but I hope that um, I feel a little proud and a little more confident than I am starting out that is the hope I'll let you guys know um, so I can record while I'm on duty so I don't know if that includes like lunch if that's considered as being on duty I don't think so right okay you guys I am heading in now and I am so scared I'm so nervous I don't know why I'm this nervous after our program director was like now it's sink or swim now my heart is just like racing about that fact so let's see if I'm gonna swim you guys excuse me wish me luck I'm excited but yeah I'm so nervous so officially my stuff is here and I'm so excited because I finally can sit in my living room comfortably and like I can lay down here I'm excited because now the apartment looks better too the rug is pretty long so I'm gonna tuck it in under the sofa as well um, I still need to get vases for my um, I think it's pomace grass something like that and then i also need to put my picture frames up so i'm not gonna put my picture frames up until i've aligned the sofa accordingly because i don't know um ex whether it's gonna be pushed a little this way or that way you know what i mean so eventually once like i get all the base and everything and my tv and stuff i will do a tour for you guys so today's my second day in the er yesterday i was so freaking nervous you guys i like i said i'm not allowed to record like while uh, i'm in the car while i'm on duty now if i were to go in a little early <laughs> i could as long as i'm not showing um i feel like i could because it said in the rules that i can't if i'm on duty so i'm assuming otherwise it's fine <laughs> I don't know, I have to check. I don't want to rule, break any rules, so. Okay, so I saw several patients, and so basically, um, you go and see them, and then you present it to the attending, and then the attending will, because yesterday was my first day, we're go, we go through like what the orders are. So initially she did the orders, and she showed me how she does it, and then I ended up, I started doing the orders as she watched. Very, very, very sweet. I, I really, really liked her. Very, like, to the point so i'm in a different campus altogether so it's not my our usual hospital so everybody's new to me i haven't recognized any faces in terms of patient care i thought i had some really interesting cases i really enjoy being in the er sometimes i'm like should i have done em but the only thing is i couldn't wouldn't have been able to do like family medicine and have my own clinic and stuff and i i really want that i want that continuity of care so i completely um made the right decision based on that just because as family medicine obviously you can't do it and i already talked about this i feel like i've said this in another video but as family medicine you can do emergency medicine but you won't be able to do it in like bigger huge cities because they would just prefer to get like emergency medicine residents new people that actually did the residency but i could do a fellowship and i could get like a dual board certification so it is still an option as long as i do that year we'll see we'll see like how i feel after this rotation i'm definitely going to do an elective and i don't know who the attending is going to be today so you basically pick a patient and then you assign them to yourself and then you go see the patient do your thing go back to the lab, uh, the computer and you can before finishing the notes obviously you go to talk to your um the attending that you're working with and you let them know about everything and then make your orders finish your notes and then that's it you go on to the next one and then obviously you follow up with those patients and check their labs and check their results you look continue to look for them so um yesterday i went up to three during at the same time tomorrow is didactics aka what we call it academic day so tomorrow's academic day and um so i don't have to go to the ed and it'll be nice because i'll get to see my co-intern so 
that'll be nice i'm excited although the morning is gonna be filled with so much learning which i do appreciate it's just four hours straight I mean, we get breaks in between but like your brain is fried by the end yeah today all day i waited for my sofa to come and then i helped the guys bring it up well they brought it up but like i held the door open and <laughs> i did a lot i was actually pleasantly surprised because i thought it was just going to be in front of the like in front of the building and they're just gonna leave it there but surprisingly they literally brought it all the way up which i'm so thankful for i just have so much shit to do i just realized i need i didn't pay one of my electricity bills being an adult is complicating like who pays for bills apparently i have to now <laughs> okay i gotta go hey guys i'm heading to the clinic that's where we have our academic day i am all ready and in the back as you see, the boxes are still there. I just haven't had a chance to take them out uh, to the big recycling bin. I'm excited to finally, you know, dress up and out of scrubs. Although I do love wearing scrubs, um, I don't mind dressing up. So I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna grab my coffee and and get going. So lucky me, I I didn't realize that it was going to be in the educational department, which is in a different place not at the clinic so i'm going to be about four ten minutes late total so hopefully not more than that but ugh, i'm so annoyed i hate being late somewhere and like especially when like all the attendings and i think the program director is gonna be there as well i mean i don't want to be late for anyone but i'm just like flustered right now so i'm trying not to feel flustered because it is what it is <sighs> it's okay and of course i'm getting red lights every single time that is inevitable right whenever you're running late and hopefully um i don't embarrass myself too much as i walk in late i'll talk to you guys in a little bit hey guys so i actually just got done with the clinic i um am actually going to grab coffee i keep saying actually like that's what i tend to constantly say actually hey guys actually i am so annoying anyway so i'm gonna grab a uh, coffee with one of my co-interns he is hilarious because we both were talking about how we need coffee so I love getting out of the clinic um, and having my notes done so that makes my life easier because then I have to go log back in and then sometimes I like I'll forget or get lazy for the day and then I'll say oh I'll just do it tomorrow and then it's just really important to just get those done within 24 hours I think we have 24 hours so I have the rest of the day to myself so I'm probably going to be studying hopefully and just catching up on other things life things that I needed to do hey guys so today is Thursday today's going to be my day three in the ED I'm about to head out soon I should head out in a little bit actually. I'm realizing that I really enjoy the ED. I like the fast pace of it. I like the aspect of just like taking care of them and then they go uh, elsewhere. And during my time there, like I can see the family medicine side of me coming out a lot, but at the same time, I do like the aspect of, okay, taking care of what's going on as of right now, like what is happening and then moving you forward to the next person to uh, continue on with the care. I like that. I like that a lot. And actually, Tuesday was my second day. So yesterday was academic day. Most of us go to a lecture for four hours, and then afterwards we do, uh, we go to the clinic. Now there's only a few exceptions, but otherwise, no matter what block you're in, you go to the clinic. On Tuesday, so I worked with a different uh, attending, and she was the type of attending that kind of let me control things and she was there obviously I presented to her she um, you know she asked me questions and she kind of led me but at the same time she gave me that that room to just do things on my own and learn that way I admitted I ordered um, so I had a lot of control it was really nice because even though like at one point she just like described everything that I needed to do call the GI call this team and this and she would just quickly like go over like what I needed to do and uh, and then just like left me and I'm like wait what <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> don't leave me <laughs> I haven't done either of those once. Let me, like, take my hand and do, you know, take me along. But, um, because that's what the other attending had done. But this time she's like, oh, bye. <laughs> and then I figured it out. And it's, and that's how I actually, um, I learned best. So it was good. It just felt nice. I was just like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> so I really, really appreciated that. Um, although at that moment in time, I was scared 
scared and I hate being on the phone like I am just super awkward on the phone at first but it was fine so I'm hoping that today is another great day there's another attending that came uh, towards the end and he was super talkative so that's nice because he really wanted to teach so he just went on about like whatever we were discussing I was talking to my co-intern yesterday so we had coffee uh, after the clinic and he was mentioning about urgent care I never really thought about urgent care. I was like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do, cause I'm, I'm thinking about moonlighting in the emergency department as I'm practicing in a private practice as a family medicine physician. So now I'm like, maybe I might wanna do urgent care. So I'm definitely going to do an elective in urgent care to see how much I like it. I might just do urgent care instead. Um, and along with it, do outpatient, or I might continue to do ED depending on how how much I like it because I love that craziness of ED that comes with it yeah so we'll see okay so I'm gonna head out I hope you guys are having an amazing week I'm gonna chat with you later hey guys I just got back not too long ago from the ED it's about to be it's two minutes until two in the morning um it's so crazy i get i guess that's what the emergency department is like you don't know what you're going to see that day and today was everything was going smoothly it was actually really slow and then suddenly after i was actually working on discharging one of my patients and suddenly there was news on like someone coming in and they were coding and and it just it happens so fast and by the time because the EMT was bringing him over you know we were prepared waiting in the room the respiratory therapist was there two attendings were there and there were nurses and help aides um, and a resident which was me and I just It was, oh God. So the EMT had this machine, which I hadn't seen before. And it was like, it was doing the compressions for them. So it was just like pushing down against the patient's chest. And I just, yeah, I just, yeah, it was, it was so crazy. And that stopped then. We checked, uh, we used an ultrasound to look at the heart. It just, it wasn't beating. Um, it just was stiff. <laughs> and just, that, just like that. I mean, I think they were gone for a little bit. But, um. As everybody was leaving the room, I thought, that's it. Like, for us, we just move on. But the family member, it's just so weird, you know? It's so weird. I'm obviously, I can handle it. And I'm strong. But it's just... I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of someone's death, a family member's death, and it just happened so fast. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed, get changed and go to bed, wash my face, go to bed. Tomorrow is another day. You know, I pray for that patient's family. And, um, good night. Good morning, guys. I got up not too long ago, and I am going to do some errands today because I've been eating out 
constantly i need to start prepping my meals my schedule is actually pretty flexible like i can choose when i want to go in as long as i get 200 hours by the end of the month then i can literally choose like whatever hours i want to go in so 200 hours within a whole month um when i was first told that i was like oh that'll be fine and now i'm like oh my god that's so crazy and honestly the 12 hours would not be a big deal but it's just that i have to also study for step three and that's what's making me really nervous so i'm a morning person so that's why my shift starts later in the afternoon that way i can have like the morning to study but but when you come so late, you sleep and you're gonna, you have to sleep in because I have to have my like, at least six hours of sleep, six to um, seven hours of sleep. I don't need more than seven usually, but I mean, there are times where I do. But by the time you wake up, like it just becomes really like tiring. Like literally today, like I just didn't want to get started because I'm just so exhausted still. I'm gonna head out, do some errands, and then maybe while I'm out, I'm gonna study because the other thing that I feel like I'm doing right now is just chilling in my apartment, so I need to break that cycle. Okay, so tonight is my last shift for this week, and then I'm gonna end this vlog, but I'll catch you up on what goes on. The day can start one way and completely end in a very different way. Hey guys, today's Saturday and I'm actually off today um, and this whole weekend actually, so that's really nice. I'm really excited. Just gonna recap what happened yesterday. On Thursday shift, I got a little like taken back from like the event that happened. Friday though was different. My dad actually has been recently indicated to be positive for COVID and he's actually in the hospital right now um his saturation levels were going down and uh we deemed that you know he needed to go to the ed <sighs> it's just it's scary um things are really scary and it's just like sometimes no matter how careful you are he is so careful my dad but i think he had his guard down when he came home and it sucks to see like a lot of people not taking this situation seriously because one minute you're okay and the next minute you can drop. I actually admitted a patient for COVID. That was my first COVID patient the same time that my dad was being admitted to the hospital himself. So for that person that I admitted yesterday, that was yesterday, as I was like admitting them and I was discussing the situation with my attending, that was exactly the situation that my dad was going through. It's just, it's a lot. You're not just taking care of a patient, but you're also the family member of a patient. Last year has also provided me with a lot of pain, but um, it's just crazy. You get a different, a whole different perspective. I mean, I'm going to leave it at that. This vlog is going to be a long vlog. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it. And I do ask for you guys to pray for my dad. It would mean so much to me. I'm praying for his recovery and um, and we're all being strong. Thank you for watching until the very end. I really appreciate you. It really means a lot. Make sure to leave a comment and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you once again for being such a supportive uh, community. You guys are amazing and thank you for all the DMs and the messages. You guys are literally amazing. Thank you, thank you and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.